Tajikistan is a former Soviet state in Central Asia. With a population of over 8 million people, this landlocked country boasts some of the most beautiful and dramatic mountainous landscapes. Sport has traditionally been an integral part of life of the Tajik people. While football, taekwondo and judo are the most popular sports in Tajikistan, a certain racket sport is starting to attract interest in the Republic. We kind of wanted to push in badminton because everybody doesn't have a chance to play football and, and uh, judo as well as taekwondo. So uh, badminton is the best alternative sport. But now it is also the fastest growing and developing sport in Tajikistan. What started out as a leisure activity among a handful of enthusiasts has now spread across Tajikistan. It's a giant leap for the nation, as just a couple of years ago, the racket sport was virtually unknown to most Tajiks. Recently, the country's newly formed national team traveled to Indonesia to participate in the Badminton Asia Under-15 and Under-17 Junior Championships. Our Badminton Unlimited team caught up with the young Tajikistan side to find out more about their story. To spread badminton uh, around was not very easy because uh, the government is very, uh, and the Olympic Committee, the Sports Committee, the, f the Sports Federations were very skeptical about badminton being spread around, you know, because they had their own interest about football growing, football developing, like taekwondo and stuff. Even breaking into these small towns, small villages were very difficult. They were a little scared, like, what is this new sport come? Somehow, I don't know, somehow the kids are more attracted to seeing a shuttle flying around, you know. It just draws attention. So. Many times, we in the first when we introduced it in villages, we tried to just gather people around their houses you know, in a small playing area, and then we introduced the shuttles to them, and then first threw them in the air, and then you know things just changed. They just liked it and started asking them to throw the shuttles first, then give them the rackets, and this is how we kind of built it up. Yeah. Badminton Federation of Tajikistan was formed in 2010, and their enthusiasm and ambition to promote the sport did not go unnoticed. BWF and Badminton Asia stepped in to provide expert guidance and necessary equipment to help in the development of the sport. Through shuttle time programs, badminton has reached several regions in the rural and mountainous areas of Tajikistan and the initiatives have reaped results. 2016, we got 1,026 teachers involved in this program. So it's been just two years of uh, one year actually and about eight months between two shuttle time programs and we are able to produce some players who could come for this uh, tournament under 17 uh, Badminton Asia Championship. Tajikistan's participation at the international level not only inspired its young shuttlers to greater heights, but also bodes well for the Federation's mission to promote and develop the sport in the country. This tournament is, is a very special tournament for us. It's very close to our hearts because after we go back from here, we, have a, we are going to take back a lot of learning experience from this tournament. That's, basic, that's one. Second thing is that uh, we, with the help of this tournament, we will be able to put up to the National Olympic Committee and the Sports Committee of Tajikistan that you see, in a span of two years, we are able to produce at least four players who can participate. Okay, uh, winning is not the issue here. Participation is more important for us. Badminton has speed, power and agility. That is why I chose badminton. I hope to become a champion in the future. I saw many good players in Indonesia and that motivated me to be a better player. I want to share my experience with all my friends. I also want to introduce badminton to other villagers. Despite financial and geographical challenges, badminton is making positive strides in this landlocked country. The work may be long and arduous, but the administrators are optimistic about the future. Our intentions are to put badminton on the Tajikistan as the number one sport of Tajikistan that is going to be played. It's going to take time, maybe 10, 12, 15 years, but uh, we're trying to push the process more faster so that it, it's achieved in a shorter sp space of time because uh, the next Olympics, I know it's very difficult for us to even think or imagine about it, but after Japan, uh, we want to put up at least one player you know, to compete and to take part in the next Olympics. 
Tajikistan have a long way to go, but they are determined to push the boundaries. Their journey will be full of obstacles, but with the passion and drive they've shown so far, they can only head for success.